touching every corner of our planet, impacting our societies, health system, and the natural environment. The trumpet call from climate scientists is clear and urgent. We must significantly reduce greenhouse gas emissions to avoid surpassing the critical threshold of 1.5 Celsius. This is especially vital for nations like ours. With our beautiful yet vulnerable mountainous landscape and as a least developed country, where the consequences of climate change are not just abstract statistics but has realities. Landslides, flood, wildfire, glacier lake outburst, and drought have become more frequent and devastating. This the disparities in the impact of these disasters are stark, disproportionately affecting the most vulnerable among us, the poor, women, children, and our indigenous and ethnic communities. Recent reports have alarmingly noted that the Himalayas, our majestic natural fortress, and a global ecological treasure had lost one third of that glacier. This loss threatens not just the biodiversity but the very livelihood of billions of people downstream. On international stage, from 78 UNGA to COP28 in Dubai, I had advocated for the unique challenges faced by the mountainous region and LDC due to climate change. It is imperative that developed economy extend their support with essential resources and technology. The promise of $100 billion in climate finance stands as a beacon of hope. Its fulfillment through the Green Climate Fund, among other mechanisms, is essential for adaptation and mitigation. The loss and damage fund remains equally pivotal for the purpose. In this vein, I express our gratitude to Mr. Antonio Guterres, the United Nations Secretary General, for his visit and for emphasizing the urgent need for action in Nepal. Integrating health into our climate response is both necessary and essential. COP28, Declaration on Climate and Health, placing health at the forefront of the climate action echoes our belief in the interconnectivity of climate change and health outcomes that significantly minimize health risk from climate change impact. I feel today's conference is a proper moment reinforcing our commitment to strengthening health system against environmental adversity. Recently, the government of Nepal unveiled the National Adaptation Plan and NDC Implementation Guideline with clear roadmap and strategy. These documents are not just plans, they are a testament to our result, outlining a clear and strategic pathway forward. They specifically prioritize the mitigation and climate change effects on human health and well-being, emphasizing our dedication to safeguarding our communities against the escalating impact of the environmental change. Nepal is fully committed to the Paris Agreement. We are committed to achieving net zero greenhouse gas emissions by 2045, five years earlier than the global target. We are fully committed in harnessing our hydropower potential for clean energy and preserving our forest with a minimum of 45 percent of the forest covered land. However, our attempts to implement climate change adaptation and mitigation plans are facing serious financial and technological gaps. Distinguished guests, the complexity of our region demands a holistic strategy that blends climate change, health and social justice.